Hi, welcome back. We're working with Waverly Chalk Paint today and I'm going to show you how to tape off an area and how to paint that area. So this is the project we're working on today. It's a white uh, melamine cabinet, so it's not real wood. And you can see we've already done a little bit of work on it. So we're going to be taping off to paint this section. So what we want to do is we want to use paint to section off these areas so we don't get paint on them. Uh, when we're painting the top. And you can see there's a relief here uh, that bends around. Um, so we'd have to get it really close there. Um, so we want to tape that off. And we have regular painter's tape here. And this tape is good to use because it won't stick to an already painted surface, which is what we're putting it on. So we're just going to start by lining that up. And I like to just pull it all the way across and then you can see you can move it up and down to get it right into that seam and then just press it down. Easy peasy. And I'm just going to do that same thing around here on the other side. Fold it out away and then adjust it up and down to get it right under the seam. And then be sure to seal it and press it down really good. I don't need <clears throat> any around the back side of the project because I'm not going to be painting back there. So we're going to do this side. Adjust the top. And press it down real good. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and press those down really well. And today we're going to be working with Waverly Agave. And we're going to be using a traditional uh, chalk paint brush. So I'm going to start out just by spritzing this brush with a little bit of water. Want to make sure the brush is damp. Just going to work that into my brush, and my towel here. <clears throat> And then we're just gonna shake this up. And I used this just a little bit earlier for a stencil, so it's pretty well shook. So I'm gonna move this a little closer for you guys. And so what we have done already is on the side of this, we've already done it in the agave. And you can see here these white streaks that are just naturally come through from the original painting of this piece. When it was manufactured, it has a, it was originally white. So one coat of the agave created these awesome distressed stripes that I just made with my brush. And I'll show you how to do that. So we'll be doing that same type of thing here on the top. Another shake. And I'm gonna start by just taking the paint right out of the cap. And I like to just pour my paint right onto my brush, just a little bit at a time, rather than pour it out onto a plate, because it gets really, it can get really dry. Uh, so that just prevents it from getting dry. And this is already getting a little dry, so I'm just going to do a light spritz. A little bit more paint here. And you can see how it is me creating these streaks. It's a little already. I don't know if you can see those white streaks. I'm gonna give this another spritz.
So the moisture um, allows us to get those streaks as well, thins out the paint just a little bit. So you can see this is getting these streaks in it as I'm painting. And it's providing a distressed two-tone look. So I always try and use the, if I have a white piece, I always try and use the background if I want white coming through. Instead of having to paint it in multiple coats of paint in order to get the two-tone look. It's a great way to uh, maximize what your piece already has and to not use so much paint. I really like the way this is streaking up and getting those distressed marks. Okay, so that's the way that looked. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this out so I can do the relief here, the trim area. And I'm just gonna spritz up my brush a little bit. Because I went ahead and painted along the side of that, I'm just going to check real quickly up here along these edges. And it always puts a little paint up there. So I'm just going to lightly brush that away. And we're all set. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in again soon. We're going to have a break, but we'll see more on finishing up this project. Thanks. Bye.